So hello everyone, I'm Shreya and I welcome you back in this machine learning tutorial series. So uh, as in the previous videos, we went through what is what is the concept of k-nearest neighbor and uh, we saw that what are the basic definition of k-nearest neighbor and we also saw the application of k-nearest neighbor. So in this video, we are going to like understand a demo on a k-nearest neighbor. So now uh, firstly I imported a library that is the first step that we have done is that I import a library. So the first library that I have like imported is uh, NumPy. As we all know NumPy is basically the, that library which deals with the like with the arrays and um, talk and the second library that I have uh, like import uh, imported here is matplotlib that it is basically used in the plotting um, plotting graph and uh, third library that I have used is import pandas and as we know the pandas basically deals with uh, like uh, relational uh, and uh, labeled data sets so i have used pandas after that i have used a url uh, uh, syntax to read the data to get the data uh, this is uh, actually the iris data that we have used i have uh, like uh, used the archive.ics.uci.edu uh, website to get it uh, you can get it uh, you might have installed from the kegel also but I have like faced it from there. After that, uh, I will assign uh, like the column names to the data set. And we have five columns here, simple length, simple width, petal length, petal width, and class. Class is basically the species that we have seen in the iris.csv data set. After that, um, I tried to read the data set uh, to Panda's data frame. That is, uh, we try to read the data, uh, data set with the help of pandas data frame, and that with the help of read uh, underscore CSV. After that, uh, I printed like uh, I want to print the uh, top five uh, values, uh, so I used dot head. After that, uh, I have tried to like the, I have now started the pre processing step. For that, like I have uh, like take in the x values i have used the first four columns of the data sets and y columns basically have the labels of those uh, columns okay and after that i have like split it with the help of this split the data set with the help of uh, train test split uh, uh, class that we that we have in the like sklearn and after that i have used the like format scaling which basically helps in like uh, um, for for the like not equally not equal data uh, to scale uh, so that uh, we can have an have we can have an uniform data structure or we can say the data sets after that i have like imported a, a k k neighbors classifier and uh, I have passed n neighbors is equal to 5. This is exactly a k value as we already understand that uh, we already know that k values is what k values is the number of uh, we can say uh, the number of uh, the neighbors that we have according to which uh, we you know, we find the uh, that who you are actually okay. So after that, I have uh, fitted the uh, like X train and Y train, uh, which we have got from the um, train test split. After that, uh, I have now used Y print is equal to classifier dot predict as text. Okay, and uh, after that, I have used SQLearn matrix to import classification report and confusion report. Classification report gives us like the precision recall and F1 score and confusion matrix as we all know, so, uh, source the like true positive, true negative values. After that, I try to print it with the help of print function. So this, this is the value and the result shows that we have total 30, uh, like uh, we have total 30, um, we can say the data that we have and uh, we are getting 100% uh, accuracy with the with the with the 30 um, not 100% we are getting about 97% as you can see we have 0.97 so we are getting 97% accuracy so now we can we can see that we can have we are getting these results like on the basis of k is equal to 5 so 
now we will need to like find out that uh, what is the exact like uh, um, what what we should be the value of k depending on which the error should be less okay so i have like uh, in this slide i have created an array uh, like uh, list and uh, after that i have like uh, with the k value from 1 to 40 i have tried to like find out the error like what should be what is the error that we are getting and uh, with that i have used for i in the range i 40 and calling the function and we are as you can see we are applying n neighbors is equal to i and after that i fit the model in uh, in kn and dot fit using the x train and y train and after that i predicted after predicting uh, i'm getting the results also and i am trying to append it in the list with the help of append function after that i tried to like plot how uh, like uh, error rate with k value uh, with the help of like plot fever fixed size and uh, after that uh, the uh, color is red and uh, as you can see the title is error rate k value and x level is k value and y level is the mean error okay so now uh, as you can see uh, we have uh, the result with us uh, mean error is as you can see we have approximately less than 0 0.35 between the k value of uh, like approximately 1 to 31 okay with, the, with this range we are getting minimum error but after 31 we are getting the, like maximum errors so it, it can be advised that with the value of uh, like 1 to 31 we are getting a similar we are getting uh, less error uh, in our in our um, like findings and uh, we can choose the k value from uh, like 0 to 30, 0 to 31 and um, that's all in this video that is we have we are done with the demo of k nearest neighbor as well so hope you liked it and enjoyed it stay blessed and thank you